Leela Ahir, Wildrose MLA and Shadow Energy Critic, has tabled Bill 206, which is recall legislation. For those of you unfamiliar with the details, it requires 20% of the voter population within a riding to sign in order to force a by-election. There are other details, such as a $5,000 application fee, along with a 60-day expiration date, but here's why Ahir thinks that this legislation would be so important to Albertans. Good morning. The premise of this legislation is simple. <coughs> to ensure any member of the Legislative Assembly stays truly accountable to their constituents. Unfortunately, some elected officials may become hold into power and influence of office to stop representing their constituents in order to toe the line or to endorse bad policy. Bill 206, the Recall Act, provides a release valve for these situations. For those of you thinking that this is a new policy for the Wild Rose, they've had it in their platform since the election in 2012. In fact, conservative supporters hit the streets in High River to recall Danielle Smith after she crossed the floor. Uh, this afternoon, I tendered my resignation as Wild Rose leader and notified the speaker that nine members of the Wild Rose Caucus, including myself, will be joining the government caucus. And every MLA within the Wild Rose Party supports this legislation. I mean, why wouldn't they? Floor crossing kneecapped the party just shy of a year ago. And this bill is nonpartisan. I mean, you could be challenging any MLA, whether it be Wild Rose, PC, or NDP. But do you think the NDP is going to vote this bill up? Judging by the response that Rick Strankman received for proposing Bill 203, which called for abolishing election advertising, I'd say the NDP isn't going to get on board with Bill 206. And this is legislation that Rachel Notley once supported. They voted Strankman down 44 to 27. And it's at a time where Wild Rose Party would gain the most because they have the biggest war chest. Ahir also had a message for those in support of recall legislation, and that was to get in touch with MLAs and encourage them to support it too. Alberta's hurting right now. I think that the legislation would have a ton of support from oil and gas workers, for instance, with the tens of thousands of jobs being bled in the province. And look at the farmers that feel threatened by Bill 206. We saw thousands of them at the legislature just yesterday chanting recall. And I think that if the NDP government were all about fairness and their constituents, they'd vote this bill up. But I think they're uncomfortable and I'm not going to hold my breath. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas.